in the Lord. Thank you so much. Alabando al Señor todos los días, ¿verdad? All right, so we're going to do some Christian swing, okay, for the Lord, because the Lord loves music, right? Hallelujah. One, two, three, four. Put your hands together. Do, 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 
wish somebody would lift up your hands out and pray some, yeah. I just wish somebody would out there. <laughs> Oh, 
give honor to you, Jesus. I give honor to your name. Oh, Lord, honor to your name. Oh, Lord, oh, your name is great and greatly to be praised. I give honor. Hallelujah. Let me see. Hey, good, good morning, everybody. Hopefully you could hear me. And uh, let me just run a real quick uh, little test here. God bless you all. Hey, we're so glad you joined us today. And um, the Lord is good. Hey, as you can see, today's message is going to be on the heart of a champion. You know, as we get ready and, you know, some of us are going to be all into the Super Bowl and we're going to be like um, screaming and shouting and all that good stuff. But today, praise God, we're going to be speaking about the heart of a champion. And also, you guys, just get ready uh, to um, have communion. So prepare yourself. So at the end of this message... We're going to be having communion, and I invite everybody to uh, partake of communion. It is so powerful when you think about what the Lord has done in the sense of everyone is invited to the, the table of the Lord, and um, we're all invited to partake of the table of the Lord, to sit at the feet of Jesus, to partake of the goodness, the mercy of the Lord. 
I want to tell you today, you know, there's a scripture that says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. And I got to tell you, man, that once you taste of the goodness, the mercy, the love of the Lord, boy, um, you know, you just want to keep coming back to him and you want to get to know him more. And just like the Apostle Paul said, man, I want to know him in the power of his resurrection. And and then he added, and in the fellowship of his suffering. <laughs> that I just want to know him. There's just something about that name, you know, that when we begin to uh, call on the Lord and we begin to taste of the goodness of God. Man, I, I'll tell you, there's just something so powerful about him. Hey, so let's go to the Lord in prayer. I want to say good morning. Let me go through here real quick. Praise God. Good morning, everybody. Yolanda, Dora, Joe, and Sandra. The Lord uh, bless you guys. Mandy, Candy, God bless you. As uh, Mike used to say, right? The bulb head. <laughs> Don't get mad. I'm just saying what your daddy said. Elaine, God bless you. Freddie, God bless you, Freddie. George Martinez, God bless Nelly. Of course, Nelly and uh, Juan, um, they're watching um, all the way over in uh, Victorville. And, and uh, I got to say thank you guys so much, you guys, Nelly and um, Juan, for being so faithful and leading us in worship, playing uh, good songs that just move our hearts and touch us at the very core of our heart. Thank you so much. Uh, let me see who else we got on here. Oh, Laura Maldonado, all the way in Texas. God bless you. Love you, my sister. Daniel uh, Marcano, God bless you, Junior. God bless you, Junior. All the way up from Northern California. I see what you're doing up there, doing some good works out there to help bless humanity. God bless you. He was actually a part of our New Life Faith Center in San Francisco. So God bless you. Uh, uh, Junior, let me see, Joe and Sandra already said your names, let me see who else, Joe Takata, hopefully I said it right, or John, I'm sorry, John Takata, God bless you, my brother, and um, Carmen, God bless you, Carmen, uh, I think, oh, Carmen Trujillo, we got two Carmens in the house, Caldera, and then also my sister-in-law, Carmen Trujillo, praise God, it's so good. To know that you guys, man, you guys, you and Joe and the family are doing way better. Praise God. Uh, Chicana Perez, God bless you. Dorothy, hey, God bless you. And say hi to my buddy over there. Oh, man, my mind goes blank right now. Um, <laughs> man, it's always so good to see you guys on here. Uh, let's see, Joe, God bless you. Uh, Kalulu, God bless you. Uh, Eddie, Eddie P, God bless you, my brother. And also we're praying uh, for Marcos and Evelyn. The Lord bless them in the name of Jesus. Nelly Harro, God bless you. Donna Espinosa, Nora Tapia, God bless you. Hey, guess who's watching? Annette Trujillo. Oh, man, I've been with this girl like for 41 years. God bless you, love you, hon. Thanks for watching, wherever you're tuning in from, <laughs> the room next door. All right, Dora, let's see, Monica Tovar, God bless you. God bless you and Joe over there in the West Valley. Uh, for all you guys do, the work of the Lord and um, everything you do, praise God. And um, the Lord bless you guys, awesome, powerful uh, powerhouse couple, Charles de la Cuesta to the de la Cuesta family. Homie, I miss you, man. Um, I got to say, Charles was in training, learning sound. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't know how old Charles is, but probably like about 60, maybe, maybe. But uh, he was learning sound, man. It's always good, even when you're older, that, uh, you know, you, you learn stuff. Amen. You keep learning. You keep growing. Amen. That's I'm trying my best to Angie Aguilar. God bless you, sis. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Margine uh, Ruiz. God, good morning. Renee Rodriguez, my nephew. God bless you. My nephew, I love you. Sal Rodriguez. God bless you. Um, 
Good morning, Sal Rodriguez. You know, pray for our musician uh, friends. You know, they, man, they haven't been uh, working in the sense of, you know, using their, their um, um, call or their gifting, their talent has usually been with audiences and stages, platforms throughout the world, and man, they got shut down. So pray for Sal Rodriguez and uh, a good brother that I've known since we were kids, fourth grade. But God bless you, Sal Rodriguez. So pray for him and uh, the band called War. Some of you know War. Peter Hernandez, God bless you. So good to see you here, my brother. And uh, y Yolanda, Yoli, I don't even know if I got, did I actually say your name earlier? Yoli, God bless you. Love you, sis. Terry, Molina, Daniel Herrera, Diane Flores, God bless you. Uh, the Lord bless each and every one of you. Vince Garcia, the evangelist, the preaching machine, Vince Garcia. Olga, God bless you. And by the way, we've been praying for Randy and Holly. Had a chance to talk to him. He's coming along better, but we got to keep praying. Pray for Randy and Holly and just for uh, wholeness, wellness, complete healing. Jaime Veloz, the Lord bless you up there in um, um, man, where is it? Lancaster, Palmdale. God bless you, the Veloces, James Grego, all the way in New York, Judy, God bless you, Rudy Brasino, my nephew, God bless you, uh, Susan Navarro, God bless you, um, you and Ed, the Lord bless you guys, and we are praying for um, Marcos, and so the Lord bless them, let's pray everybody, hallelujah, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Come on, let's lift your hands to Jesus. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. And Father, I pray right now for everybody that is watching. Father, I pray this morning. Good morning, Daniel Herrera. I pray this morning. I come against the spirit of condemnation, guilt, shame, anxiety, frustration, fear, and every other thing that would try to come upon you. I pray for you now in the name of Jesus. I pray the blessing of God. Father, we call on you today. Father, we call on your name. And Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for everyone that is watching, everyone that is tuning in. I pray the word of the Lord, Father, will flow and will minister and touch every heart. Renew our minds, Lord God. Renew our minds, Father. Strengthen our hearts, our spirit. Give us hearing ears. Give us an understanding heart, Father God. And Father, I just pray, Father, give us an obedient heart to follow you in all your ways, Father. And Jesus, I pray now that you would touch the sick, the afflicted, those that have COVID, Lord, those that are struggling with this disease, with this virus. Father, we thank you that Jesus is the antivirus. Jesus is the healer. I thank you, Lord, that you went about healing all that were afflicted and disease. And Father, even those that pressed in and touched the very hem of your garment, you brought healing to them, Jesus. And I thank you, Lord God, that you were wounded for our transgressions. You were bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon you. And by your stripes, we have been healed. We receive it now, Father. I pray right now. And Lord, I pray the Holy Spirit of God will bring the word of God to our remembrance. I pray, Father. That as I speak the word of God, Lord, anoint my lips to speak as the oracles of God, Lord, according to the ability which you've given to me, Lord, according to the gifting that you put in my life, Father God, may you receive all glory, may you receive all the honor. Pedimos por las misericordias del Señor que sea sobre de ti en el nombre de Jesucristo. Amen. Amen. A little bit of Spanish. Praise God. God bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you, Margarita. And each and every one of you. Hey, thank you all for tuning in today. We uh, appreciate you. Hey, by the way, please um, share this um, posts 
um, share it with others that will be tuning in and, um, you know, just share it with them. And uh, we're just believing God to, you know, just to um, minister to each and every one that will tune in. I'm just here to encourage, to build up. I'm not here to rebuke. I'm not here to put guilt, condemnation. Uh, you know, sometimes it seems like to me that I hear too many people always talking about how that, come on, we got to improve our relationship. We got to make our relationship better. We need to, and it's always, it's always a, a deficit. It's always the approach. It's not strength-based. It's not faith-based, but rather it is um, always almost in a sense of shaming. And I want to tell you, you know, I was thinking about that, how one of the things that's so important, how many of you out there got kids? Let me tell you, I only have one, but never in my life have I ever said, hey, you need to be better to be my son, or hey, you need to stop this to be my son. I've never said to my son, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to work on your relationship with me. <laughs> no, he is what he is. He is my son. No matter how you slice it and dice it, praise God, he's my son. He takes on my last name. Uh, you know, of course, Annette and I, boom, you know how that goes. And what happens is he's my son. And like somebody said, irregardless, regardless, amen. Lucienne Frejo, Frejo, God bless you, sis. Hey, so I just, I'm only saying that because sometimes we're so, it, it, we, we approach ministry and the our perception and our the way we perceive the word of God is like we're never enough. We're never right. We're always, you know, having to have to do this. I want to tell you that he has made us more than conquerors. I want to tell you that in him, you know what the Bible says that in him, praise God, we live, we move and have our being. Even as your uh, old prophets and poets of old have said, they've always recognized that. And how much more should we rejoice in what Jesus has done in our lives? Amen. We rejoice in what Jesus has done in our lives. Man, I'll tell you what, uh, what Jesus did through um, his suffering and um, his crucifixion, his death and his burial and being raised from the dead, he was raised in power to justify, to move in our lives, to redeem fallen, broken humanity. And we are the redeemed of the Lord and we are saying so. I know sometimes we're always thinking that he's after us and that he's trying to mess us up and keep working on your relationship. No, I, yes, I do. But, you know, you know, you need to understand there's a balance. We need to receive from the Lord. Amen. All right. Praise God. Uh, you got me uh, going here. Hey, God bless you. Today, I want to read. Go with me to your Bibles, and I'm just going to read real quick. First Samuel 17. You know, this morning, I wanted to speak to you about the heart of a champion. And as we get into this, get your um, uh, communion elements ready, because at the very end, we're going to partake of the communion table. So stay tuned and uh, don't check out. Amen. Juan and uh, my brother Juan Acevedo, God bless you. Now, I want to begin reading here uh, in 1 Samuel 17, 4. And I'm just going to jump around a little bit in these in 1 Samuel. Because, you know, uh, there's not too many um, scriptures where he says that, uh, you know, that we are, you know, that uh, about champions, you know, the, the word champion itself is found in the Bible. And one of the things that we know is, is found in there, and mostly it's in reference to Goliath, you know. Let me see, I want to look up a scripture here. Um, I'm sorry, let me see more. Of course, we know that the Lord has made us more than conquerors, amen. <laughs> Praise God. Uh, let's see, here we go. So I want to begin reading uh, here in 1 Samuel. I'm sorry, you guys, I got uh, distracted here, but God bless you. Paulo Rodriguez, the Lord bless you. 
All right, so I'm going to read in 1 Samuel 17, 4. Today I'm speaking on, my topic is on the heart of a champion. You know, I was looking up, um, um, you know, just kind of Googling, looking around, and I found uh, some dude that was singing a song. Some rapper that's got a song on More Than a Champion. I was like, what? You got to be kidding me. All he's talking about is money and his fame and how he has enough money to just burn it. And he's got enough money to just, um, uh, you know, compared to an athlete, you know, all he needs, all this uh, rapper needs to do is two songs and I'm more than a champion. Well, praise God. Who are these champions? Listen to this. And by the way, I actually work uh, um, with uh, champions in service doing, um, was doing gang intervention now, um, diverting youngsters, keeping them out of the prison pipeline. But, um, you know, when I was thinking about this word champion is, and, and especially today, every year, um, we always have a uh, Super Bowl Sunday. I've done uh, services where I'm talking about get in the game. Don't be a spectator. Don't just give shots and what they should be doing from the grandstand. But I, I know that I I've, I've did uh, messages on Super Bowl Sunday about how we need to get in the game, how we need to get involved, how we need to follow the Lord, how we need to have the Lord, amen, uh, in our lives, but following the direction of the Lord uh, and getting involved in the things of God, amen, in the service of God. God bless you, Rita. Vince Gomez, all the way up in the Bay Area. Good morning. Good morning, Vince. Uh, so today, as I'm speaking about the heart of a champion, you know, what does the heart of a champion look like in the negative sense or in the uh, worldly perspective, they have what, what they term as champions. Well, 1 Samuel 17, 4 says that there went, that there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines. So there was a, a champion. Hey, good morning, Pastor Andrew Fernandez, Christina. But the Bible says that there was a, a, a champion that went out from the camp of the Philistines. So, you know, I want to tell you something that somehow, some way, this, this, this champion, he was recognized. There were certain qualities. There were certain things that he did in the in the camp of the philistines that this guy rose to prominence and became known as a champion and listen to first samuel 4 it's